Sun. It's it's amazing how they've managed to pack all of this, you know, everything that this radio does into this small package. So you've got menu, function, scope, quick exit, power, DR mode. Looks like your your filters there, multi-function button, and now with some of the new features, they've got the digital monitor mode, uh, where it connects to this radio to to a repeater or a reflector, should I say, via the internet and at the same time via RF. So that's it's almost like dual receive of reflectors, and we'll show you that in a sec. So otherwise, on the side, you've got. It's where your. Uh, have a look now. Between, I just need to check what those connectors are. The bottom one, oh, they are marked. There you go, you can see that hopefully. Let's see if we can tune that a bit better. There you go. Send ALC, tuner, Kia, and micro USB. Pretty sure I put one in there. Uh, sorry, that's the other side, yeah. DC input there, and the DC cables in the box. It's actually the same as the X6100 size. Micro USB, like I said, there is an, a, a board that you can buy for about £70 that swaps that board for USB-C now, uh, but it's not made by Icom. So uh, then you've got your BNC connector, lots of adapters for that. Speaker mic goes underneath here. Earth and or ground, should I say. And then SD card slot, and that's very useful. You can back up, you can do the firmware, and the firmware on this is really easy to do. Putting the battery in, nice and straightforward. Let's get the battery in there. Let's grab your... And it's so nice that you can just take this out of your Icom 52 and just pop it in here, or 51. Try and get it the right way around. It goes like so. And you can actually charge this uh, via the micro USB as well. So it's a real, so there's a real weight to it. So let's just come down a bit lower. Let's turn this device on. Icom, it's got the firmware 1.32. Beautiful, even behind this shield, the screen looks beautiful. We'll just get the scope on. And we'll connect an antenna, so we'll go menu, scope, get the scope on. Let's grab a BNC antenna. I've got myself a little adapter here. BNC to 239. Let's put that in. It's just a, it's actually a disc cone antenna that I use for my scanner, believe it or not. Right, let's just turn this here. BNC's on. See the way it's... You know, that connector is not the best connector, but it's good enough just to test things out. Obviously, that's not a HF antenna, that's a, a two meter antenna. So we just go to two meters, just tap the screen, look. Uh, 144. Now, let's do the the magical unveiling of the of this device, this, you know, the cover. Peel that off. Beautiful. Look how lovely that is. It's literally to die for, that screen, and so is the 7610, and so is the 7300. They're, they're very beautiful radios. Let's see if we can get my Hubnet node a minute. We'll tap the screen, and we're on 434550 for my node. Turn it up. Volume here, just turn. When you first turn, you get the volume. If you press this, you get RF gain. Tap beneath, you get squelch. And in that interesting, the filters even work on FM. You can hear that station, that's an analog station, it's not DR. To have DR, you have to hold down the this button here, and that gets you, there's no repeaters in, I need to load the repeaters up uh, to make this work. Let's turn on, we'll tap the menu, you've got the audio scope as well. 
press expand. We'll probably show that better. We'll put my HF antenna on, then we'll show you that. The preamp is showing that it's on there. So let's go through the buttons. Vox, DR mode. There's your, your filters there. Again, we'll have to show you that in HF. Your multifunction knob. See the monitor? Mic gain, RF power. There's different functions that you see when you're in DR mode. It's not going to let me do DR mode until we load that up, which we will. XFC, memory pad, scanning functions. Let's go menu. There's all your meters. Turn it down a bit. So you can have the meters showing. What else? Let's have a look here. SWR meter or graph, the way they do it. Recording, memory, well, voice record. I know it records voice and you can record CW and send it. Quick menu here for quick access. Menu, scope. Let's have a look at those bands. 1.8 to 430. Look at this. One touch air band. So we go to an air band frequency. Like, uh, let's see, one, one, let me think now. 133850 is normally quite active. Uh, 133, in my area anyway. 850. It's not the best antenna for it. You can change all the cut, all the. They're not receiving much at all there, which is such a shame. AM, 133850, so yeah, nothing there. Tap the screen there, you, you can change the memory. There's no memories in this at all. I have got an SD card that I can load up. This radio talks to you. Let's just go out of this function. Are you there, David? Menu, and you've got number two menu. That's your DV gateway. D, what's this one here? Again, we need an SD card for that. DTMF, GPS. I wonder if we've got a deep GPS lock. See, so up here, you tap that, and if you've got a lock, all these satellites will light up. Bluetooth, go menu, set. You've got massive set menu on this. Tone control, big function menu there. Tap it. The VFO just is just lovely. Just slides around lovely. My station, you've got to get your call sign in for D Star. DV set. The new DV, DV repeater monitor. You you load again you load something. Connectors or for all your your you know interfacing with other items with other programs. Display. You can change all of the all of the colors of the waterfall, just hold down EXP and you can start to change the colors how you like them. I'll load up my SD card in a minute. Speed, reflector of the waterfall, the sensitivity of that. Let's grab my HF antenna in a second. Let's tap seven megs. See if anyone's about. Well, there's no tuner in this, but you can get tuners at a very low price now. So you're not too lucky with the activity. It's a shame, isn't it? Different filters. You can hold your finger on there. Tap the battery, see the battery. Tap the multi button here. RF power. Mic gain comp monitor. Two menus here, so you've got the span. 100K. Let's go through, you can hold it. You've got center fix. Tap the frequency. Hold your finger on the frequency. You get your step. Signal meter there, SWR, ALC, comp, power, tap the LSB, choose your mode, of course it does all data modes.
you can set your edge, speed of the waterfall, RF gains up at the moment. Right, well hopefully I haven't missed anything. And yes, you can plug in an external speaker. You can buy a, you know, the, the Icon 7, is it 7 something, is it 05? Tuner for it. I've got a little ATU 100 that I got and it works great on this, no problem at all. Got the time showing there. Bluetooth, we go set. Let's look for blue, Bluetooth there. Turn that on. Just tap it and you can search, pairing and connect. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi works and you'd be surprised how many different functions these days will uh, work well with Wi-Fi Access mode SD card settings for loading firmware And the screen quality and I've used the 7300 and the 7610 and this screen quality is perfect literally perfect GPS settings there. Oh yeah, you can send photographs. Forgot about that, and you can do that with the seven o with the fifty two without any software. It will they could send it to people on a reflector, no problem at all. You just go menu picture. See the same screen on both, and you can send photographs on reflectors or you know to individual users. That works really well. Definitely try out Doozy, you put your micro USB cable in, connect to a program called Doozy and you can start going on all the reflectors, XLF, XRF, DCS, just with a micro USB cable and that just standard cable will work. Let's have a look what else we've got, GPS, that's your DV memory, repeater list. Let's just load up my SD card. Um, have I got one in there? I can't remember if I've got one in there actually. Probably not. That's okay. We can. It's not hard to to add a, you know add your, your your repeater list. You just load it from dstar.org. Load up your repeater list. Add your hotspot, and away you go. My hotspot. Let's go menu. If I if I can add it manually. Let's go. Tap the frequency. Four three four. My hotspot is 433550. And if you want to just do it via see if there's any activity. No, four, three, no, no one, no one about on my hotspot menu. That's it, that's what we didn't show you. Let's go back to HF and show you the audio scope. There's your audio. And this is the same as the 7300, exactly the same screen. Same size, everything. So that's it. I think it's, 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 in my opinion, the best radio out there. If they added a module stuck on the back of this that gave it an extra 50 watts, let's say, and a built-in tuner, you, you literally couldn't have a better radio. And I think that's what Yesu had to compete with. If they bring out the new Yesu 818, you know, radio 819, whatever they're going to call it, they need to be in this league, um, in my opinion. So I know I'm sure I've missed many items. We've got attenuation there. It's all showing up on the screen. Just trying to think, I don't want to miss anything out. Hold that down. Pad, exit, menu. So let's go to the function menu. Oh, we didn't show that. So we got the preamp AGC, notch, noise reduction, split mode, yes. You can access your six meter repeaters, no problem. Money, notch, preamp. Menu two, duplex for your shifts. Space is there for more items. NR, and then when you do select noise reduction, if we go menu, function menu, one, NR. I think we can adjust that up here, can we? I'm sure we can. Um, hmm. I want to think about noise reduction, adjustments, function. Let's hold my finger on it. There you go. Like so. We'll do noise blanker as well. 
there it is there of course CW on this will be excellent in all audio reports receive and transmit on this device will be amazing you can buy carry handles it's quite a brick you know it's quite a brick you wouldn't want to drop it it's like you know, it's recommended really to to get some protection for it but thanks for watching my unboxing 2024 virtually of the amazing icom ic705 thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe 73 all the best